Thinking about doing a biomedical engineering masters is not something that should be taken lightly at all. But we're gonna go through everything that you need to know so that you can make the best decision for you. In this video, we're gonna go through what the course will involve, what the positives and negatives are in my opinion, and what job prospects and salaries you can expect once you've finished it. But firstly, just to make sure that we're all kind of on the same page, because you might have heard of biomedical engineering and not known exactly what it is. To put it simply, it's the discipline of finding engineering solutions to medical problems. When you think of the technology used in the healthcare system, like the machines used to measure the vitals of patients, machines used to x-ray, wheelchairs, prosthesis, this is all biomedical engineering in effect. Now we're on the same page with what biomedical engineering is, we need to talk about the base layer of skill sets that you need to enter into the industry and be able to swim rather than sink. That is what the master's program will be giving you, but instead of giving it to you over three years, you're gonna get it all in 12 months or 24 months if you do it part-time. I've seen some other videos about biomedical engineering degrees whereby they've said in the first year, everyone gets some time to kind of get to grips with the core subjects before you go into second and third year. You don't get any of that during your master's. You might get two weeks if you're lucky to bring yourself up to speed, but ultimately it's very fast paced. Now, while it was manageable, it did take me a lot of time outside of contact hours to be able to bring myself up to speed on subjects like physics and maths. I came from doing a pure biology degree, so there was a lot of catching up for me. The modules that you'll get on your master's course will depend on which university you go to. Every course is slightly different. There are, however, some modules that I think are pretty much consistent on every biomedical engineering course. Those will include human biology, medical implants, instrumentation, computer methods, and biomechanics. These are the full list of modules that I did on my course. Now, they were challenging, but I personally really enjoyed it. The workload is quite intense because of how much information you're being required to learn in such a short period of time, but that workload is necessary so that you can learn everything that you need to learn in the time frame that you need to learn it. So you can expect a lot of tutorials and worksheets to do when you get home. So let's get onto some of the positives of studying biomedical engineering. Firstly, we need to get the money out of the way. Biomedical engineers can make a lot of money and the job prospects are pretty great. The industry is fast paced, fast growing and constantly changing. So there's always a need for the skills of biomedical engineers. Other than the financial benefits, studying biomedical engineering will give you so many skills such as coding and data analysis, which will mean that you're actually able to apply to a variety of different roles that might not even be in the field of biomedical engineering. The course is also really interesting. When I applied, I wasn't entirely sure of what I was gonna find. All I knew is that there was gonna be some maths and I absolutely hate maths. And I knew that biology would be my bag, but honestly, the modules that I studied and the topics that we covered were legitimately fascinating. Now, arguably the best part of this whole discipline is the impact that it has. Biomedical engineering is essential in helping people all over the world. It's responsible for making certain people's lives bearable and has allowed those with medical conditions not just to survive, but to thrive, whereby a hundred years ago, those same medical conditions may have been fatal. When I graduated from my master's, I went on to work for a company that developed technology to help with breast cancer treatment, which to this day is still one of the most fulfilling roles that I've ever had. But nothing's just pure sunshine and rainbows. When it comes to negatives, there's definitely some things that you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration. I've touched on it already, but genuinely, biomedical engineering masters are very intense. You really need to be focused, and if you're taking on the masters full-time, working isn't really an option. If you want to work, you're gonna to have to give up one of either reasonable amount of sleep or your mental health. The workload is a bit crazy, but it can be done with some focus and dedication. Given the high workload, it means that some of the topics that you're not too familiar with, you're gonna to have to catch up in your own free time. And there is not that much of that. If you do end up struggling or falling behind, I suggest that you go and speak to a member of staff or find someone in your network on the course that can take time out to teach you. Maybe in return, you can teach them something that you have a strength in or just pay them somehow. As I touched on before, the course doesn't really allow you to work while you're doing it. And that doesn't match well with the fact that the course is actually quite expensive in itself, especially if you're moving away from home to study. If you're a UK resident, you can get a loan to pay for your tuition fees. But I think if you apply now, the maximum loan amount that you can get is £12,167. However, some biomedical engineering master's courses cost between thirteen and £15,000. If you're an international student, you can expect your tuition fees to be up to £30,000 for the year. So let's talk a little bit about salary and job prospects. There are a wide range of roles that you can take on once you've qualified as a biomedical engineer. Most do choose to work in the medical device industry, which is exactly what I did. As it's an industry that I know well, I think that's what's best for me to focus on. Within the industry, there are loads of different roles that you can take on from research and development to field service engineers and then even quality engineering, which is what I did. 
And there is a real demand for graduates. If you think the industry is constantly growing, technology is constantly developing, so there is always going to be a constant need for new biomedical engineers. But if medical devices isn't your thing, there's a long history of biomedical engineers going to work in banking and finance. They love them some analytical skills and that's exactly what biomedical engineering gets you. But bringing it back to medical devices, there are a massive range of roles that you can undertake, but the amount that you're gonna be paid is gonna vary based on location, company, and exactly the job title that you have. For quality engineers, you can expect an entry-level role to pay you around £35,000 a year. With a bit of experience, you can move up to £55,000 a year. And then if you work your way through the company into some of these more senior director executive roles, then you can be making well over £100,000 a year. If you want to be a bit more hands-on and channel your inner mechanical engineer, then maybe being a field service engineer is the one for you. Field service engineers usually make between £25,000 and £35,000 starting, and then it can go up to £45,000, dollars 50 dollars with a bit more experience. But again, if you work your way through the company, you can end up making a lot more money. And that's one thing that I love about the medical device industry. There's usually always a path for you to move up. And when you do move up, that pay will increase exponentially. Now, if you're a bit more creative and you want to look into developing medical devices, then you're gonna to wanna to look at research and development. Now, you'll most likely need a PhD to get into research and development properly, but the salaries can start at 60,000 pound a year and move up to 100K a year within a few years easily. It should be noted though, that in a lot of medical device companies, a generous bonus can be added to your annual salary. At the company that I worked at, bonuses could be as large as 20% of your whole salary. But that all depends on how well the company does in the years that you're working. We also had private healthcare and dental plans for us and our families. They also paid for our gym and there are a few extra bits and pieces here and there. So overall, the pay package is really good, in my opinion. So that's all that I have for this video. I really hope that it's helped you make that decision on whether you're gonna be making the leap into biomedical engineering or not. Personally, I loved it and I think still to this day, it's one of the best things that I've ever done. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. For anything else, subscribe and turn the notifications on. I'll see you next time.